I am Arun, Associate Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Marine Engineering College. So, hope all of you have seen the video of a heat balance test. Similar to that, here we are going to explain about the compressor. And in this video, it incorporates the experimental setup present in Marine Engineering College. And also, uh, there exists a simulated Excel sheet for getting the observation values. So here how to get that observation values is that is you have to control that delivery valve. First of all you have to fully open that valve. Then you have to close it. And then by means of a particular uh, series of closing you will get a set of observation readings. So that you will obtain from the simulated Excel sheet. Let's see the first, video, first slide in detail. The main aim in conducting the performance test in compressor is to determine the efficiency, isothermal efficiency and volumetric efficiency. So here is the experimental setup of air compressor test trick. Here you can see that there exist two pressure gauges are there. One is used for checking the pressure of low pressure cylinder and the other is used for checking the pressure of high pressure cylinder. And then you can see a water manometer also. That is to find out how much air is entered into the low pressure cylinder. So air from this storage tank is delivered to the low pressure cylinder to the low pressure cylinder through this valve like this and it gets compressed over here. So we all know that at the time of compression the pressure and temperature will increase. So to reduce the temperature developed on the air, an intercooler is provided over here. Then that air is again compressed with the help of the high pressure center. By using this intercooler, the isothermal efficiency of this compressor can be improved. So let's see what are the things you have to take care of while starting this experiment. Initially, the delivery valve should be completely open. And next task, next thing is to regarding with the motor. You can see that here we are using a swinging arm motor. You have to ensure that this arm is at zero itself. This arm is at zero itself. And next is the spring balance is also zero. When the delivery valve is slightly closed, the pressure will increase automatically. What will happen? more power is required for the compressor to work that from from where i will get that we will get it from the output power of the motor output power of the motor how we can determine the output power of the motor from the spring balance the when the power more power is taken some weight that is some uh, force in terms of kilogram is noted over here and that is to be multiplied with the known length the arm length of this motor then we will get the torque. Once you get the torque, very easily we can find out the power. That will be equivalent to what? The input power of the compressor. So by means of the values obtained from these, we can find out the isothermal efficiency and volumetric efficiency of this compressor. That I will explain at the time of calculation. This slide represents the procedural steps. Initially, the delivery valve is fully opened and check whether the arm of the motor is in correct position, that is at the zero position. And next is to close the delivery valve to a certain limit and note the height difference in the manometer to find the volume of air compressed. And the compressor speed, motor speed, load on the motor by means of the spring balance and the delivery pressure using the pressure gauge. So these much things you have to note down. So here we can see the observation table. So as we know, we have to control the delivery valve for getting the observations. So here that you have to mark at the discharge pressure table. And then correspondingly you will get the motor speed, compressor speed, manometer heat reading and also the spring balance reading. So here the manometer reading is to find out how much volume of air is compressed in the compressor in terms of water you will get. You have to convert that into air. 
and now i will show you the simulated excel sheet for getting the values for the different stages of delivery value here you can see the simulated excel sheet for getting the observation readings so here it is written that in this experiment initial reading is taken after closing the delivery valve then to get the remaining reading delivery valve is opened in various levels here to get the readings select the position of the delivery valve from the drop down menu so here you can see the drop down menu here that is select the position of the delivery valve click here you can see the drop down menu here and when you click on that you can see the various options fully fully closed 10 percentage closed 20 percentage closed so that is the position of delivery valve is represented there when you click on those things you will get the observation readings here the charge pressure manometer reading spring balance reading motor speed compressor speed etc you will get from this chart itself and hence you can fill up that observation table so first of all i shall show you one example that is when it is fully now at present it is fully zero what will happen when you select the fully open button you can see that the manometer reading is 114 h2 is h64 1.65 700 like that it is varying so like that way you can fill up the observation readings by selecting the various things like this so that's how regarding with the simulator sheet the first step to calculate the volumetric efficiency is to determine the actual volume of air compressed for that the water manometer readings say h1 and h2 can be used the difference between the readings will provide the head in terms of water here it is has to be converted into in terms of air as we are conducting our experiment on air for that by means of continuity equation the head in terms of air say h a can be determined by using the expression h1 minus h2 multiplied with the density of water divided by density of air the density of air can also be determined by means of p1 by rta where p1 is the atmospheric temperature pressure and r is the gas constant of air say 287 joule per kilogram kelvin and ta is the room temperature hence the actual volume of air compressed can be determined by means of discharge through an orifice say by means of our expression cd into a naught into square root of 2 root of 2 gha by means of that we can easily find out how much air is actually compressed next task is to find out the theoretical volume of air compressed that can be determined by multiplying the area of low pressure cylinder with the stroke length and compressor speed finally the volumetric efficiency can be determined say percentage of actual volume of air compressed to theoretical volume of air compressed will give provide you the volumetric efficiency to calculate the isothermal efficiency initially if the input power of the compressor is to be determined which is similar to the input power of the motor itself that can be easily find out by means of expression 2 pi n t by 60 where n is the speed of the motor and t is the torque which is the multiplication of a spring balance reading and the radius of the rig that is say 200 millimeter by means of that we can find out the input power of the compressor so next is you have to find out the isothermal power which is p1 v1 p1 v a ln rp where p1 is the atmospheric pressure v a is the actual volume of air compressed and rp is the pressure ratio our pressure ratio is pda by p1 what is pda pda is the delivery pressure which is the summation of discharge pressure and the atmospheric pressure and finally we can determine the isothermal efficiency that is p power isothermal power divided by the input power of the compressor that is what the power output power of the motor that is the bp of the motor will provide you the isothermal efficiency so it is here you have to represent your results for each position of the delivery valve and then you have to write the results at inference and uh, you have to make the sample calculations for any one of these items here in detail and for any query please contact professor arunjay